one question I've been asked is what keeps you going, and uh, one common answer we get to making presentations on this topic to older people is, well, you may be right, but I'll be dead and gone by then. They already live in a gated community, and they think they'll probably get through to the end of their life, so they'll go have another round of golf instead. One thing that keeps me going is just the interest. I mean, I've met a great many interesting pe people, and I've had friends out of that that I still correspond with, and that makes part of the reward for doing this work. But you also think about the next generation. We had two children and had two grandchildren. And we'd like to be able to see them have some options still and not live in an overcrowded, under-resourced, supplied world where there's a world in which there's cutthroat competition on the international level for declining supplies of oil and iron ore and copper and tin and zinc and all the rest of the things that it takes to run a technical in society. Uh, the one thing I would say about demographers, you need to understand the difference between predictions and projections. Demographers do not make predictions. They do make projections. If you give them a birth rate and a death rate and an average age and so on, they can draw a curve that says where you'll be if those rates apply, but they don't tell you whether the rates will apply or not. And there's some famous examples of demographers being wildly off as far as what they thought the future was going to hold. The, uh, the famous ones that before the Second World War in the 30s, when it was predicted that the U.S. population would stop growing and maybe top out at 120 million. Well, <laughs> they turned out to be quite wrong. So demographers are, are not so much, in my experience, concerned about the consequences of population growth, but are projecting and predicting perhaps the numbers and let other people worry about how the numbers might be uh, modified. It's kind of like the local planner, the land use planner in your city town. They'll give you ideas on how to do the best job with the growth that's going to come, but they won't say anything about whether the growth should come or whether you should oppose it and how you can do it and that sort of thing. They're concerned is with the quality of the development that is there. That's valid, but it doesn't answer the demographic question.